Good. I'm just going to present. Okay, so um, in the last three weeks, we've been trying to take as much advantage as we can of um, the opportunity to take day trips in the Western Cape, and we've been doing a bit of road tripping. So um, two weeks ago, we drove out east towards Montague, and we went over um, the Hex River Pass, and we saw quite a few common species. We actually didn't have very many birds that day, but we saw a lot of these specific birds. We had familiar chat, Karoo chat, Egyptian goose, Cape Sparrow, Yellow Canary, Karoo scrub robin, and um, African Pied Starling, and sort of the same species on repeat over and over throughout the day. Um, and then last week we had the opportunity to go up north towards um, Van Rensdorp, and we saw um, quite a few more birds on that trip. Um, and these, this is kind of a collage of raptors that we saw both from going east and going north. So we had African marsh harrier, which was quite nice to get a photo of. Lots of jackal buzzards, lots of um, PCGs in the bottom left. Lots of black-winged kites, black-shouldered kite. And then um, when we were driving to Van Rensdorp, we went through the Cedarberg and we saw two spotted eagle owls during the day on a telephone line, which was quite interesting. It's not something um, very common to see there. Um, and we also had African harrier hawk flying, and you can see that it's carrying something um, there with a long tail, but I didn't get a closer photo, so I'm not sure if it's going to be identifiable in Mammal Map. <laughs> um, and when we went um, north, these were some of the most common species that we saw. We had Cape sugar birds, lots of um, spike-heeled larks and large-billed larks, quite a few Karoo lark as well. Um, and we had, it also got this beautiful photo of a Cape rock thrush. Um, in the Cedarberg. Um, we also had Southern Black Quran. All of the males are displaying and calling right now, so it was really easy to get nice photos of them. Um, we had Grey Tit, Rupus Yard Warbler, and um, Ludwig's Bustard as well. And it's really nice to see the Ludwig's Bustard because um, they are a threatened species in South Africa. Um, and we had a few surprise species as well. So we got to see Protea canary on the drive back on Friday, which is always a treat um, because they have such a restricted range. Um, and it's just a beautiful bird to actually see. And he was sitting in the tree and singing and he stayed there for quite a while and let us get some nice photos of him. And um, then it also got a nice photo of Cape Clapper Lark, which um, they're not necessarily rare really species, really but nice <laughs> 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 they're difficult to photograph. So you have to go out quite early in the morning to find them displaying and calling. So um, she was lucky to get an identifiable, we hope it's an identifiable photo. <laughs> um, and then in the top right, we have um, Cory Bustard, and we saw these um, when we were driving back from Van Rensdorp. And it's, only, it's one of only three um, grid cells that the species is recorded in in the Western Cape. And I think it's the westernmost record in the country, actually. Um, it was recorded in that same grid cell in 2017 by Zenobia van Dyke, but hasn't been recorded since then. So it was really cool to see them. There were three of them. Um, we got some nice photos and they were quite close to the road. So was a good record to get. Um, and then on Friday, it also got the photo of a hammercop, um, which is always just a fun bird to see. We think it was a pair that was building a nest because they were flying over while well, we had stopped for coffee. They kept flying overhead with nesting materials in their mouths. So it's quite fun to watch. Um, and Cape Longbilled Lark was also a good one to get a photo of. And then Malachite um, Kingfisher, we saw this in the Knersvakte, which was the last place you'd expect to see it. I think it's actually the northernmost record in the Western Cape um, in the virtual museum right now. And it's just a testament to how much water they had in the area. They had a lot of good rains. So it was an interesting bird to see there. Um, and then we also had some surprises that weren't birds. And one of the coolest things about the last couple of weeks has been seeing what the rain has brought. Um, and we've seen some beautiful snow. So this was um, the Hex River Mountains just covered in snow and also driving through the Cedarberg, we got to see some beautiful, beautiful snowy scenes that probably a lot of people don't get to see in a lifetime in this country. So it's amazing to be able to see it now. Now Itas is going to talk about the flowers. Yeah. And some <laughs> so we were lucky to, to be able to go to Fandesrop um, last week. And thanks to the to the rains that this year they have been having, so the flowering season is starting now, um, and it's it's starting to get amazing. So you see in the picture of the landscape is the classical Van, van Rensdorp mountain, and all the isoases are starting now flowering. So 
the fields are mainly now it's mainly purple and there are also some yellow and white from the oxalics and it's starting to, to look beautiful and then when we look a little bit closer and we look to the to the smaller ones we, we were able to find different sorts of little flowers beautiful flowers so we have some daisies there orange and white and many other colors uh, we have some irises as well and this little one in the bottom that looks like an orchid but it's actually not an orchid it's an also an yeah that one it's also <laughs> an, an an iris mm -hmm. and then we also saw some gladiolus in the bottom bottom right yeah uh yeah some of the flowers so mm -hmm. um and then uh, every time when we are bird picking uh we, we see also some other stuff, so we also get pictures of everything we saw. And this, this week was the week of the lizards and reptiles. I think it's, it was a very hot week, so everyone was getting sun. So we saw four different, at least four different species of um, reptiles. So the uh, lizards, sorry, sun lizard, the, lots of karoo grill lizards, uh, the western sand, sandbell lizard, and southern rock agama, very blue, they are getting very blue. And um, we saw also a tortoise. I think it's an Amaqua tent tortoise. It's still not in vertex, or oh, I'm sorry, in vertex, in the reptile map. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, I think it's the Namaqua tent tortoise. So this, this was a little tortoise that we saw in the middle with Salome. We saw it in the middle of the road. And uh, we realized that the, the tortoise couldn't go up because the edges of the road are so big that the little to tortoise can't climb. Once they go to the road, they stay there. So we had to save it and put it up. And actually it was great because I think um, this is a near threatened species. So thankfully we, we saved one, one individual from, from getting road killed. And then um, we, well, Kais took a picture of the only butterfly we saw in our trip. And it's a quite common species, it's a painted lady. But the interesting thing is this, in this grid cell that I don't, I don't know, what, it's somewhere in the Western Cape, Northwestern Cape. It's the, there are just three records now. This is the third record of a butterfly, not of a painted lady of any butterfly. So it's at least, it's good to add one. And, and this is a species, the painted lady, the last time it was photographed was in 2008. So yeah, Thank great. You. it's good to uh, have well, the record yeah, again. The grid cell was 2008, so it's the first yeah. record in a long time. That's yeah, good. So yeah, good to, to go there and take pictures of more. And then we also saw some mammals um, in our different trips. So we got a um, bat ear fox middle of the day, um, which is, I think, unusual to see it. And I sent I send the picture to my dad and he said that the, the, he doesn't have a very friendly face. And I told him it's because he was, he was, he has spent if he was he's an all-nighter he was asleep. he didn't sleep the whole day and that's why he had that face because usually you see them at dust i think um we also saw uh baboons such a baboons springbok and steam steambok um finally i got to see uh, wild meerkats meerkats um it was very nice and also a little mouse that i think it's a karoo bush rat but again it's not in still in the mammal map so but I, I believe it's going to be that one. But yeah, let's see the identification from the experts. And well, we thought, we said that this, this was to be a um, presentation about surprises. And here it comes, the biggest surprise that was a, <laughs> a really big bat. So um, this is incredible. Uh, we, we saw when we went a little bit to the east in the Western Cape, we were looking for birds and then we, we saw a a family of five five uh, um, elephants. Uh, this is my first African elephant and definitely I wasn't expecting to see one. Actually, I thought I'm gonna go home without seeing any elephant, you know, because of the lockdown and I'm not gonna be able to travel to other places. And we saw this, well, this incredible five, five individuals. So they, we saw them walking. They were walking towards somewhere. And I think the next slide is a video I took of them walking so yes i think it's amazing so i want everyone to see what we what we saw so there they go the five i think i believe there are two well at least one that is a young individual it's a small one 
And then there is the biggest one, I think the female. And yeah, beautiful to see the family walking. Very nice. And I think this was very close to Sambona private reserve. And I think in, the, in Sambona they have elephants. So we believe they, they belong to that, to that area. Um, but we see them from very close. And then we, so we continued the road and when we came back, we found them again. And this time they were really, really close, like 100 meters, I don't know, it's, it was very close. And they, I think they were walking towards a place where it was more, a little bit more green and there were some, some bush to eat, so we saw them eating. And then we realized that the biggest one, the biggest, the biggest female had a radio collar, a big, really big radio collar. So we believe that the people from Sambona, they, they have their, they follow them to, to show them to the tourists, to know where the elephants actually are in the park. And yeah, that, that was it. And yeah, wow. thank you so much for, yeah, for hearing us. And yeah. we are ready. We have a lot of questions, questions, but that's all we could fit into 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we have a lot and a lot of work to do for the virtual museum now. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. You saw some really cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, no. I'm really, really happy to be able to do these road trips, actually.